Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Uncut Alley. My name is Allie A. I'm Allie Chris. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> and this is a new series called Sippin' Shows, where we sip on some shows and sip on some drinks. Oh. Do you not know how to slurp? No. I told Chris we would do a slurp Wait, thing for check. it. <laughs> so Chris doesn't know how to slurp, and that's part of this intro now. So that's going to be fun Figure it. Maybe by the end of this, Chris will learn how to slurp. S- sip. Anyway. Sip and slurp. So on this show, we will be discussing shows that we watch, that we like. We'll, we'll do a quick synopsis of it and just do a deep dive into it. Nerd out about it, but also just have fun with it. Have a good time talking about it. I'm already burning up. Why did why do we have blankets on? Oh, I hope you can't see my thighs. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and don't wear pants. So, we are starting off, if you read the title, with one of our favorite shows. Possibly our favorite group show. No, group show. Couple show. Rick and Morty! <laughs> the new season has just come out last sunday season five season five uh if you haven't seen the episode highly recommend watching it but why watch it when you can just listen to us talk about it whoa it's free on youtube we will link it yeah link him boyo so quick quick synopsis of it and by quick it's probably gonna be like 50 minutes because i'm me (laughs) all right you remember everything we start Oh, spoiler alert. I don't know if I need to say that. There's a show ab- about the show. We've given you like a whole week to watch it almost. Yeah. So get get with it, bitches. Anyway, we open the show. Rick is dying. And they are in some distant alien land. As they always There's are. There's crystals with scenes. Are those scenes canon or is my question, first of all. <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot Are of scenes crazy canon? scenes. Are the scenes canon? What was going on in that whole beginning sequence? How did they get there? Are the scenes canon? I don't know. Chris doesn't know. Do you know? I'm fucking asking the question, my dude. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> Morty has to drive. He's trying to get them out of there. The steering wheel comes off. I did did it? Yes. I guess, yeah. Steering wheel came off. They barely made it through. No, not even. They think they're... Morty, Morty has decided he's dead. Yeah, it's true. He calls <laughs> Jessica. If you don't know Jessica, she's the love of his life in high school. Which is sad because he like has barely talked to her ever. And anytime he has, like the world got gazorp absorbed. You were the love of my life before I talked to you. No, that's true. That was really sweet. He wasn't. <gasps> You're the love of my life after our first date. Bullshit. <laughs> anyway, so he's like, you know, it never worked out between us and I wish it had. And she's like, I wish you'd said this earlier. Which is a lesson. It's a big lesson. Just go for it. You never know what can happen. The worst thing I feel like is just wasted opportunities, wasted potential because you don't know. Go for it. I asked out this one all by myself. First time I'd ever asked a girl out. Not really by himself. Well, first time I ever asked a girl out. So So that's a whole other thing. It's not about us. Okay, zip. Anyway, lesson learned. Go do what you want to do. Take a risk. Consensually. Don't like force people into shit, please. (laughs) But go, go talk to the girl of your dreams. Do it. Who gives a fuck? I dare you. Dare you. A triple dog dare you. No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she's like, what are you doing tonight? And he's like, come on over, bitch. <laughs> and then somehow he reconnects the steering wheel. Wires don't work like that, but he reconnects the steering wheel and lands them on ocean they're home free they made it back to earth rick wakes up morty's like we landed in the sea 
We're safe, Rick. Until... I'm Mr. Nimbus. Mr. Nimbus appears out of the ocean. Rick's freaking out. He's like, wait, we, you landed on U.S. water. You can't land there. Mr. Nimbus comes out and he screams, Richard. Richard. Apparently Rick's full name. I love that. Probably not. I love that. It's so, so funny. So then they are nemesis. Nemesis? Nem- each other's nemesis. That's right. What is the plural of nemesis? Please comment below. Nemesis. I'm curious. I think it's nemesis. But that's the singular. And the plural. Like deer? Yeah. I think Wild. so. So then the intro comes in. Intro's really cool. Go watch it. Not delving into it right now. Hope a bunch of it's canon. Definitely the Power Rangers thing will be canon because that was like in all the previews. Well, it better fucking be. I hope the goddamn golf scene is canon. Just, I hope there's a full episode of Morty just golfing. Yes. Full episode. So, intro ends. We come back. Rick's freaking out. He's setting everything up. Nimbus is coming. Now they have to talk. They have to reach a new treaty because part of the treaty was Rick couldn't go on the sea. And now he was in the (laughs) sea. And it's a whole fucking thing. He pulls out a chair. Where did he get a chair dedicated to Nimbus? Who knows? There's a snowball picture in the background. It's great. He just had one in his back pocket. He's been waiting for this moment. With your ex best friend, current art, art is it arch or arch nemesis? Arch, stupid. But it sounds wrong now that I say it. I don't like it. So then, what? He puts the wine in a portal where time it speeds up. Yeah. And he's like, Morty, all you have to do is get this fucking wine. <laughs> and Morty's like, I don't want to. I got a girl coming over, and he's like, Morty, I don't ask for anything. That's a lie. That's a big lie. Do you want to take over at any point or is this on me? I think it's all you. I don't want this to be. Okay. <laughs> but I can. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting into it. Nimbus comes over and he has like a chariot made of squids and other <laughs> sea creatures. So Beth and Jay, I thought I told the fucking TV to not do that. Anyway. <laughs> So Beth and Jerry are like, what the fuck? And then Jerry looks at Nimbus. He's like, this is the guy. Because Nimbus is like the fruitiest person in the world. What does that even mean? Fruity. Like just fruity, Chris. He's like out there kind of? Just fruity, man. Okay. <laughs> He's just, like, I have no other word than that to describe him. Go watch it. That's Nimbus for you. So he's like, this is the fucking guy, not like some overlord, badass god, just like an over-sexualized fish man. He's the same height as Rick, like thin. You know what I mean? It's not like this massive boy. Just super sexual, 98% naked fish man. (laughs) (laughs) Then he... He grabs Jerry's dick and slaps Beth's ass. Oh, I forgot to mention. Backtracking. There's there's sex. There's sex positive positive now. now. Because of Dr. Wong. I love the Dr. Wong progression. (laughs) It's such a good progression. Like, I love seeing her come up and that the family is actually working through their problems healthily in the background with Dr. Wong, the best therapist ever. I said therapist. Oh, it is there. It is therapist. Sorry. Sips and sips. More sips. You ran out of sips. The sipping is not sponsored by Barefoot Spritzer Rose. And I'm I'm also not sponsored by Seagram's Escapes Wild Berries. Not sponsored. But if they want to, this is like the most delicious drink I've ever had. It's really good. It is really good. Highly recommend. And Chris it. only drinks Seagrams. Yeah. He, he <laughs> loves his wine coolers. I do. Anyway, so they're sex positive and everything. I love that progression. I hope it continues. They watch porn together. I feel like Wong and Rick would be a power couple. They're opposite ends, but Whoa. like that blew my both mind. amazing in their field, both very sure of them. I mean, Rick's a little insecure. Yeah. But like, I just feel like they'd be that like enemies to lovers trope. And like opposite ends trope, and it would just fit 
beautifully. She'd analyze him, and he would appreciate her analysis if they were dating. And she'd make him a better person. Well, what would he give to her? We can't have one-sided relationships. Portals and shit. I feel like he (laughs) would bring her a greater appreciation of science. Like, not mind sciences, but, like, real... Not real science. Not that mind science isn't real science, but, like, more physical science. Chemicals. And also, like, get her to open up a bit more and release some of that. I feel like she has this perfectionism to her. Yeah. Anyway, so Beth and Jerry sex positive, but also Rick sent Summer on a mission to f- into the Marianas Trench to find Nimbus's shell. Remember that. Anyway, Look back right. to, so they're sex positive. Nimbus feels it. His little bad bitch starfish assistant, my queen. <laughs> so bad. I love her. She's like, oh, he gave you the nod. He knows these things. So here's these forms. Fill them out and let me know. Also, you'll get a fruit uh, basket. We'll send you a basket. She has he wants a to have a threesome. She's a starfish She's butt. so thick. <laughs> thick, bad bitch. Thick Patrick. Thick, she's basically thick patch. Oh my god, she even has like boots up to her knees. Yeah, female thick Patrick. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, sips. <laughs> You're gonna say sips every time one of us drinks. I, don't know. <laughs> I love him. So Nimbus comes in. Jessica's no, Nimbus doesn't come in yet. I forgot about the police. The police come in. So Jerry, before the he offers to have a threesome, Jerry's like, I, who is this guy? I'm calling the police. And Nimbus is like, all right. And Rick's like, please don't call the police. Nimbus controls the police. And he's like, yeah, that doesn't fucking make sense. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Jerry calls the police. The police come. Well, there. Jerry's like, there's a fish man, horny fish man. And then he's like, I don't see how this is relevant. But I'm, but we're white. And so, oh, don't make noise. So, love the, the nod to racism. That was so good. Um, they immediately showed up. <laughs> yep. They immediately come in. Police come out. Nimbus just says, fight. And they start fighting. And he says, fuck. And they start having <laughs> sex. And he says, flee. And they leave. They just leave. Yeah. Was Mr. Nimbus voiced by John Mulaney? I've been trying to think why I knew his voice, and it sounds like John Mulaney. I don't know who that is. The the guy who's in suits, who doesn't look like he should be a comedian. He looks like he's from the 50s. I have AIDS. Oh, that guy. Sorry, Chris is stupid. Yeah. Anyway. So he finally comes in, throws the police, police leave. What even happened? Jessica comes in. She's like, am I in the right place? Obviously in the right place, Jessica. You've been here before. You had a fucking party. Jessica, you dumb bitch. Jessica, you dumb bitch. Morty's right there. Morty's right there. You are looking at his family right now. <laughs> anyway, so Rick and Jessica, nope, Morty and Jessica sit down. They're about to watch a movie. And she's like, did I hear you're going to get wine? Can you get us some wine? And he's like, sure. So he goes to get the wine. And it's like a goat land in the other, in the other side of the portal. It's a nice goat couple. She's pregnant. His name is Hoovy. He's like, oh, let me help you with that. So they go through the po- other side of the portal. Remember, this portal, spe- like the time through the portal is like monumentally quicker than time on Earth. Yeah, seems like every time he goes back, it's like a hundred years in the future or something. Not a hundred, I'd say like fifty, sixty. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it's like the same generation for like two. Of them. Anyway, we're That's getting ahead true. of ourselves. So Hoovy helps Morty through the portal, and he gives him advice on dating. And then Morty's like, "Hey, take a bottle of wine." I was like, "No, I couldn't." He's like, "Yes." So then Ho- Hoovy's the sweetest man. He goes back into his world, and it's dark. <laughs> and he opens the door. His wife is just a fucking skeleton. <laughs> and then there's this like malnourished young man. 
He's just like, why did you leave us, father? I swore to mother I would kill you if I ever saw you again. God, she she probably just thought you out and left. Yeah. So he kills him. His own son kills him. And he's like, it's not my fault. The dark, the, the child on the other side of the portal. So that's all we see. Let people explain before you kill him. Just saying. No, we don't have time for it, Chris. <laughs> so Morty gives wine to Nimbus. M- Nimbus downs it and he's like, another. So then he gives him the other one. And he's like, another. And he's like, fuck, you know, he wanted to give that one to Jessica. So he has to go back. He goes back. And there's just a guy crying out of grave. And he's like, oh, hey, it's Hoovy, right? And then it's actually the kid who killed Hoovy. So Hoovy's son. He's like, don't speak his name. And then tries to, he like beats the shit out of Morty. He's jacked. Beats the shit out of Morty. Where he's like, fucking screw this. So he goes back through the portal. And he like sits there for a second. And he's like, you know what? And then he goes back to fight Hoovy's son. I think his name is Japheth. Yeah, Japheth. How do you remember all this stuff? Because I'm Allie. You are. So Japheth is now even older. And he has an eye patch. So Morty like throws him to the ground. Then Japheth somehow had three sons during this time. One of them has a yellow bird. That's important. So they're like, so he's, they're like, oh my God, he was real. We're so sorry. We didn't believe you. And then he's like, he'll come back. You got to get him. So it shows them like building into like a Game of Thrones-esque Game of Thrones. fortress. Like ready, like b- fully based around ready, being ready to fuck up Morty. Yeah. So Catapults then, and everything. It's yeah, so crazy. It was wild. So eventually Morty has to go back in for some more wine (laughs) and then they're like oh shit it's him like they built this fortress around the portal with like traps on it they need to kill morty all because like hoovy left his wife can we tell like the basis of this is insanity anyway so like oh fuck it's him so they try to get him they don't get him they think they got him though yeah they're like ah we won dark child on the throne it's been years. Like, you sh- see the age progression. There's still the guy with the yellow bird. He's sitting on the throne with his other two bur- brothers. That's crazy. And you can tell because he still has the, the... I said red bird. It's a yellow bird. You said yellow bird. I did? Yeah. <laughs> Sips. So, it's been years. What even happens? I mean, he just keeps going through. I don't even. So he comes back eventually and they think he's gone. Oh, oh, that's it. So one of the I think it's one of the three brothers. They're like, you know, he will come back. And then his son is like, no, you, he won't. You've, ba- you've ruined our whole lives over a fucking lie. And he's like, you're a fool. So he leaves and then. Some sorcerer who thinks that Mort- the dark child, which is Morty, is a lie. He's like, you know, those who say you're a fool, are actually, you actually know the truth. So he like trains him like crazy just to murder the king, his dad. By the way, magic is a thing now. Yeah, now they're all magical. <laughs> Don't know how this Somehow. happened. So they, he kills his dad eventually. And then the guy who trained him killed him. Why go through all that work? Just kill the king yourself. Cut out the middleman. <laughs> anyway, and then he goes on about this speech of like, I was born in the shadows of the land that's been based on a lot. Shut the fuck up. Morty comes through the portal, fully decked out in like war gear. He's ready. Murders everybody. The g- main guy who just killed the, trained the son to kill the king and then killed the son. He was like, oh, fuck it. It was all true. God is real. And then he dies. Morty kills a bunch of people, but he he then goes through the portal and leaves a glove behind, and a woman picks up the glove. And whatever's happening with Nimbus, they're just fighting him and Rick are just arguing about bullshit. Hashing out a deal, Ali. Yeah, they used to be best friends. They're trying to make a treaty. Beth and Jerry are considering fucking Nimbus. Morty once has the wine runs into Jerry because he's 
Horny. <laughs> Horny Jerry. And then Rick is very upset about it. It's a whole thing. But that's not important. The woman who picked up the glove has now, like now they're super techy, very magical, very techy. She is training her son to cross through the portal himself. Why is it, why did it get, why did the screen get dark? Oh, it's just starting to overheat, but you're, you're good. Okay. <laughs> Until it overheats. Well, what do I do when it overheats? I have to cool it down. Oh, fuck. Anyway, so we're almost done. So then she she's trading her son. He Then finally he gets old enough. He like melt down some of their people into him. He goes through the portal. Oh, but during one of these, Maury did bring wine to Jessica. And she was like, oh, do we need a wine opener? That's important. So the guy comes in and he's all decked out. And he's like trying to kill morty he killed so th- they're trying to rick and nimbus are trying to tr- sign their treaty yeah he has a witness who is also a squid who held the ink for his pen <laughs> he opens up his mouth and the pen goes in hashtag justice for squid hashtag justice for hoovy anyway so he accidentally kills that guy so nimbus thinks he's trying to kill him he's like you dare try and assassinate nimbus and he's like wait who is that and jerry's like get in line pal so then jessica comes in she found the wine opener thank god thank and goodness. she takes it he's like has like tubes like bane if you know bane he has like tubes to to the oh my god what is it called venom right yeah it's venom, right? it was was venom i think it's venom no it's definitely something else wait really whatever my batman brain isn't on right now but i am wearing batman underwear anyway but then i'm wearing marvel socks irrelevant so she stabs like his little tubey thing with the wine opener chris pointed that out hilarious callback it's, I, so it's the little details of that that make a show so good like just the little callbacks yeah. anyway she stabs him with the wine over he like goes through time and finds like the time god which is an owl in space and he's like what does he even say to him you're not worthy or yeah you're not worthy and uh, he's like mother and uh, he's like going through it so then he gets sucked back through the portal but he takes jessica well what the fuck is morty gonna do that's his girl that's his fucking girlfriend they kiss during this too irrelevant somehow so rick and morty goes back into the portal to fuck everybody up and it's white but there's an old morty and a tree and he's like, where's Jessica? And then old Morty's like, ah, yes, that was her name. And then he like gives him, he gives <laughs> regular Morty the grapes. For the and wine. He's like, here, this is for the wine. And then you're like, oh, fuck, it's a whole circle. So then Morty's like freaking out a little bit. So he like drops all his armor. It's all a lie. They're just so technologically advanced. So they're like, oh my God, I can't believe he fucking fell for that bullshit. That was the best. It was hilarious. That's the best part. So then they capture him. Jessica's like in a gem. Yeah. Staring out. <laughs> crystal Kinda, thing. Do you remember like iced tea? It kind of looked like that type of crystal, how they were all like crystals. You remember that? Yeah. It looked like that. So she's like stuck and she's there, she's just frozen in time. Oh, it's 11 11. Make a wish, everybody. Ooh. I wish for us to be successful in everything we do i wish the exact same thing ha 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 anyway so i almost said chris so morty's stuck they froze jessica it's been like a long time i don't even understand how this much time passed so there's some robot who's like i've been studying you and the more i studied you the more i lost myself why do we do this and then morty gets out of it and he kicks him in the nuts and he's like, fucking release her. And the robot's like, God, you're a dick. So he releases Jessica. And then they try and go through the portal. But then like a robot arm comes out and scoops them. So while this is happening, Nimbus and Rick, Nimbus is leaving. He's saying, there is no treaty. You are rude, blah, blah, blah. And then he starts talking about like some backstory. But we'll get to that. And then Rick's pissed off about it. And he, he's just like, Nimbus is threatening to make the earth wet. Wet. And then he's like, well, the fucking global warming is doing that anyway. Love it. Um, 
and then he just goes off. He's like, I'd like to see you do something that's not related to me. Like, go do it. D- stop using me as an excuse. And then he he- hears Morty calling for him. So then he runs out to get his grandson because he loves him secretly. Oh, that's cute. And then he's like, I'm just going to do, what is it? Do sex machina? I think that's it. Deus sex. Deus, that's, thank you. Machina. It's spelled deuce, though. Deus sex machina. And then they're too advanced. <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck. So then, what even happens? Mr. Nimbus right. comes. Right. Mr. Nimbus comes in and he sexually brings water and drowns everybody there and rescues everyone. When they get out of the portal, Jessica goes on this whole thing about like time and how she saw time and time is wild and is she just an object what is she and then she asks morty to just be friends <laughs> and then what she, a way to be friends on huh she's walking home and some guy tries to hit on her and she's like fuck off i'm a time god <laughs> and i love to see this growth for her good for her yeah good but for also her. sad for morty yeah so nimbus and rick are like oh it was so great to be your best friend again and and yada yada and they they're just like we're we're bffs again i missed you and fucking summer comes in with the goddamn she's like grandpa i got the horde the shell and he's like you fucking dick so then he starts beating up rick and summer's like oh should i should i blow it so she blows the horn and it just made nimbus stronger <laughs> you have to what destroy a useless it horn, right no you have to destroy it and it kills him but she blew it instead ha she blew it get it <laughs> Nimbus so, is a horny man. Nimbus beats the shit out of Rick, and then he summons the police, and the police take Rick to jail, and Rick's last words are, I told you, Morty. He was an ice cold dick killer. <laughs> and then the credits roll. After scene, after credits scene, um, it's Jerry and Beth at an apartment door. It's Nimbus's door. You can tell by the handle it's a seashell. However, the door looks like an apartment door. Like it has a little like block for the eye hole that like you only see in like the projects and apartments. You yeah. wouldn't know. But like it looks like a less well to do door. It looks like an apartment complex door. Nothing against apartment complexes. We live in one. He's just the fucking like god of the sea. Why does he live in an apartment? Whatever. He can do whatever he wants to do. Anyway. So they're like, oh, should we do it? And he's like, oh, I just, I didn't know I was doing it for you. And she's like, oh, I was doing it for you. They're like, let's just get out of, let's get the basket and like get out of here. Oh, did the video end? Yeah. That's okay. We'll put something here. We will? Well, yeah, we're not just going to have blackness. (laughs) Anyway, so there they are just trying to decide what to do. And then Nimbus opens the door and he's like, having second thoughts. And they're like, no. They're like, just please don't tell Rick. He wouldn't understand. And then Nimbus says, he would understand. <laughs> and then drops his towel and they all have sex. And that is the end. And that was the episode. <laughs> Notes I have. So Nimbus, when they're talking, mentions Diane, which I assume is Beth's mom slash right. Rick's ex. So he's like, well, you know, you only so <laughs> during their argument, Rick was saying, oh, you know, I, you know, I don't talk about you because I'm ashamed of you. Like, you're so stupid. And then Nimbus is like, no, you actually are scared of me because I know how much you've fallen. I used to fear you and now I just pity you. What would Diane think of you? So. And it's also clear at, in the after credit scenes that Rick and Nimbus definitely had sex. Definitely. 100%. <laughs> so, theory, they were the OG thruple. And then Chris had said, he was like, well, what if Nimbus stole Diane from Rick? And I was like, no, Nimbus would not date anybody. Because all Nimbus does is fucks, fight, no, fights, fucks, and flees. <laughs> Which is a, a callback to him talking to the cops so that's all he does that's all he does and we should all live (laughs) don't don't live your life like that chris punched me before fighting oh no (laughs) 
I didn't think our OnlyFans would be this early. <laughs> anyway, uh, anything, uh, anything else you want to mention? Oh, Nimbus mentions like, oh, I liked your other one better since Morty's like really shit at Kyle. serving the wine. He mentions the Kyle. I want to know Kyle's backstory. Who the fuck Who is, the Kyle? Fuck is Kyle? Where's Kyle? Hashtag justice for Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> if was if what if Kyle's like a before Morty, you know? Is he like another grandson? Yeah, did he have two grandsons? I don't know. These are the questions. We need the answers. Sips. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else you want to mention? I mean, did you mention a lot of the things you wanted to? I mentioned like everything I wanted to. Oh, that's great. Um, just, but just I think how Morty is becoming a, a bad bitch. You know? Like he's fending for himself and even when rick was you know like basically almost dead at the beginning of the episode morty like still pulled through it's pretty cool and he's not taking the shit from rick anymore so i'm i'm happy to see how that how that progression goes this season i think that'll be cool i have a few other notes nimbus literally fucked his nemesis's daughter yeah like you win right like you win at that and also, calling back to the Morty scene where they had old Morty, how did they find out Morty's name? For so much, they called him the Dark Child. I guess if they studied him. I guess, but how did they? I don't know. I don't know. It gets weird. And so this whole thing, I, I mentioned this, but it makes no sense. Like, this was one family. This was one couple. How did the whole, like, race, the whole world became <laughs> obsessed with the Dark Child? Like, there had to have been multiple people because there were multiple generations. Yeah. So there had to be more than one family, I hope. God, I hope. But it's just like, what the fuck happened? This is all like definitely very biblical tied. Mm -hmm. So like a couple starts and then there's a betrayal with the son. So in the Bible, the son kills his brother. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Huh. But I think this I is all like a, like a play on religion. Like one family started this religion and a bunch of people think it's a lie and a bunch of people like base their whole lives around it like kingdoms were founded around dark morty catholicism dark. and shit you know yeah i feel like it was definitely all just to play to that as well definitely that's pretty cool they seem to touch on religion a lot in this series yeah for a very like anti-religion yeah it's very religion positive <laughs> So one note that's completely unrelated to the episode itself. Have y'all, and this is going to ruin the episode, so if you don't want Rick and Morty to be ruined for you, go away. They talk with their tongues, so like their tongues come out at very weird times, and it bothers me, and it, it's never bothered me until today. And now I can never watch Rick and Morty again. This is the first and last episode of Seven. Yeah, right. I love it. Uh, I'll have to see it next episode. I'm not looking forward to that. Well, Chris, you'll forget. Yeah, you're right. I'm Chris. You're Chris. Yeah. Well, I think I literally talked on like every point I had. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so sick. You're so sick. All right. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Oh, there's one more thing. Ooh. Nimbus controls the police. <laughs> Fucking why? He's king of the sea. So I'm just like, what? Not even just like, oh, it doesn't make sense for the King of the Sea to control police. Like, why police specifically? Are, aren't police just human beings? Are they trying to say that police are like a different class or a different species that like he can control that? Is there something that happens when you become a police officer, like you get a chip implanted in you? Or, or can he actually control all humans, just control, decide to control the police? Because I feel like that's very on brand of him to be able to have like this insane power and just fucking doesn't. He's just yeah, like, right. I only want to control the police. I mean, I guess if you control the police, you a little bit control everybody else. Sure. But yeah, I think you're right. He's limiting his powers in some way. Because like, if he's king of the sea, then can he control the water in everybody and like can actually just control people's water and stuff? And actually, and just control everybody else. Does That's that make sense? The only thing that makes sense is if that'd be how the power was was gained. Otherwise, it's just weird. Or... Wild. Yeah. Any ending notes? This is a great episode. Loved it. It this was one of my favorite episodes. episodes. It was a very great starter episode. I love starter episodes where it kind of like doesn't have anything to do 
with anything, you know? Yeah, it's like, like a there's one-off. no no storyline of it. Like I I do also love callback ones, but it's just a Rick and Morty adventure. And I also love that they had separate adventures nearly like yeah, the entire everybody, episode. Everybody. Also, how was Summer's adventure in the Mariana's Trench? I hope it was good. I hope she had a good time. Sips. It was a really good episode. I would Is there any critiques we have for the episode? I thought it was perfect. I had I have no critiques. I thought it was perfect. I mean, I always just want answers to every question, but that's just my own shit. I don't know. I wish... I mean, I know it had to end with Morty not getting what he wants, but I just wish like him and Jessica had a better chance. I know. That would have been such a good like season if they were dating the whole season. But it was a very great episode. I don't... There was nothing I disliked about it. Maybe the beginning I wish was like I, I they love having like a beginning that has nothing to do with the rest of the episode. But I just I wish there was a little more information on the beginning. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. But they they I think intentionally don't. Yeah, say of course. Anything. I don't think it was like a flaw. I just yeah. personally would I want more information cuz I'm me. But I think it's over all, all around an overall great episode. Oh uh, yeah. R- really great way to kick off season 5. Right? Season five? Right? Yeah. Season five, episode one. Season four, episode one. <laughs> You're so cute. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. I feel like you covered so much. I know. I figured why I do a quick synopsis when you could just tell the story and put your little stories in it. Yeah. Quicker anyway. All right. Well, tell us how you liked this. Um, sorry the camera died in the middle. Don't know what to do about that. We, we're going to do our best, you know? Camera's overheat. You just, you do what you got to do. Buy a fan. Yeah, I guess we'll buy a fan or a new camera. <laughs> Every camera overheats. This one barely overheats compared to all my other cameras. Well, we'll have shorter episodes. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that dying, we'll figure out what to put here. Maybe there'll be something. I don't know what. I don't know. I'll think of it in the night that we have to think <laughs> about it. So, uh, yeah, let us know how you like this f- episode format series. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's a really great way to get to know us more and just kind of like bullshit. And eventually we do want to set this up on other platforms as like a podcast type thing. And then just the YouTube has the video part with it. Yeah. But let me let us know how you liked it. Any suggestions you have, any things that you really liked about it um you know i'm always open to feedback but it's my channel so i'm gonna do what the fuck i want but i am always open to feedback and i love you all and i love and care about what you want to say but you also respect me enough to know that i don't have to implement what you say it's a mutual respect and love that's fair um hopefully if you didn't like rick and morty this made you want to go watch it and if you do like rick and morty it Made you kind of geek out a little bit with it. It was really fun for me, personally. Oh, yeah. It was great. I was was very nervous at first. I'll have to... Talk more. I don't even... I thought you were going to go over the episode and then we were going to talk, so I was like... No, I thought this would be like a podcast and we would just interject with things. Yeah. I know initially we had said we would do a quick synopsis, but I just felt like that format worked better and it flowed out. No, I agree. So I was talking about it. That's when I thought of the thing, so I like wanted to talk about it. Right. You look exhausted. So I, yeah, I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> Come on. We're filming episodes. Sips and stories. Sips and shows. Sips and shows. Now, I had a great time, everybody, and I'm excited for the new episode tomorrow. Yep, and you will get an episode from us next Saturday. Woo! Talking about episode two. Yeah. Oh, we didn't talk about the preview. Oh, well, we're not going to talk about the previews. No. At least Spoilers. Not now. Spoilers. Oh, yeah, like this episode is a whole spoiler. Nah, you've already seen it. <laughs> but, you know, we'll, we'll keep refining it. We'll keep getting better at our notes, getting better at speaking, getting better at equipment, everything. We're always improving, and thank you all for supporting us always. Yeah, thank you, everybody. And if you're new, I hope you enjoyed this, and the, go check out some of our other, other, other videos. <laughs> 
Um, there will be more like this as well. Because remember, I'm not a gaming channel. Um, it's my brand. Uncut like Alley is my brand. I just like games. Like that's 85% of my personality. So it's 85% of, <laughs> <laughs> of my YouTube channel. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and happy birthday. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris. See you later. Sips and shows. Sips and shows. Oh. <laughs> I'll learn. I tried. <laughs>